Why, hello everybody. I'm Kyle from This Is Drive, and today we are in the 2019 BMW i8 Coupe. Now, for my full review on this car, please check out the link in the description below, as this is strictly uh, driving impressions in, and you know we're just going to be you know taking the car for a little spin here and uh, talking about uh, some of the powertrain and just you know how it drives strictly that. So again, full review linked in the description. Uh, but for now, this video is just the fun stuff. We're just gonna talk about how the 2019 BMW i8 drives. You know, first off, when we look at just how sophisticated this car is from a powertrain perspective, you know, we have three motors all together. We have the 1.5 liter three cylinder turbo petrol engine, which is in the back powering the rear wheels. And then in the front, we have the two electric motors, uh, obviously each independently, you know, powering in the front wheel. So we have all wheel drive. Um, and then we also have, you know, two transmissions, of course, as well, which is pretty crazy to think, you know, about that. And just from, you know, a pure engineering standpoint, I mean, it's, it's pretty incredible, um, which all relates, and let me tell you, an incredible driving experience. I mean, the i8 has such a low center of gravity, and with that battery and all that torque, like, right there from practically ground zero. I mean, this thing just pulls and pushes like crazy. It gives us around a zero to 60 time of about four, 4.1 seconds, depending on you know where you're at, who you ask. Uh, but that's, you know, that's been you know, around what we've seen in this car. Now, again, it's not going to be quite as fast as you know, some of the other ones in the segment, you know, like Acura NSX. Um, but then again, uh, the, the i8 is also really more about you know, efficiency and looking incredible while doing it, and obviously it does. I mean, this car looks like no other car and really drives like no other car as well. I mean, just how planted it is in the road is very, very good, um, which translates into some really good real-world fuel economy as well. You know, we have you know, almost 30 miles of range on pure electric driving, which you know, is very good, especially for a car in this segment. And then it gives us you know, around 32 miles to the gallon combined you know, from a charge. Um, you know, I've seen as high as 34 while I've had the car this past week. So you know, very good fuel economy, especially when you consider all of the performance that we're getting out of this car. Now, if you really you don't know, want to spice things up a little bit, you know, we're, right now we're just driving in you know comfort mode. There's a comfort mode, then there's an Eco Pro mode, which you know, obviously maximizes um, use of the battery and things of that nature. But you know, when we're in comfort mode, all we have to do to go to sport mode is just uh, push the shifter over. It really calls up the engine to maximum response, uh, and as well as changes our tachometer from a power delivery, so it shows us how much power we're utilizing to a full on. On, um, tachometer like we'd normally see in mm. oh. yeah it uh, is way more responsive in sport mode here I mean it's just oh god this pulls for days on these curves you're just uh, eats it eats them it, it just eats the curves it's it's ridiculous <laughs> it's just so quick guys it's just all day long this thing just loves to go which is, you know, what's, what's really just so fantastic about the i8 when we couple, you know, the power of, you know, turbo as well as, you know, electric, we just get so much raw performance out of this thing. And again, that's just what's, what it's all about. And, you know, combine that again with BMW's, you know, driving dynamics. This, this drives like BMW's used to drive. Um, it's so responsive. And, you know, if you're not a you know, real into driving your cars hard, then, you know, you, this is a car that you might not even like because, I mean, the steering is super, super tight, very responsive, and, you know, again, that's what, that's what we love from BMWs, uh, but a lot of people, this car uh, is, is very performance orientated, and, you know, for some people that might not be exactly what they're looking for, but then <laughs> they shouldn't buy this car, but then let me tell you, they're missing out. <laughs> And for 2019, they updated the, the engine note, makes it a little more aggressive, a little bit louder as well. Uh, so, you know, when you're, when you're piloting through the curves and, and you want to just get that, that extra tone, that extra note, it really comes through uh, out of the, the three-cylinder turbo. I mean, I could just go on for days, guys, about how, how fantastic this car drives. Uh, it's really just the uh, perfection um, between this, the different transmissions, how well they've executed the drivetrain, 
as well as the you know the handling and suspension it's really just a phenomenal driver's car well that's all i have for you guys today on my driving impressions in the 2019 bmw i8 thanks for watching